Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a fun video. I'm giving my controversial take and I'm telling you what I think about each of your favorite reptile YouTubers. It's going to be a great video. Don't go nowhere. Adam Wickens. He is first in this video because I genuinely think he is a good guy. And I say that because when you look at a person like Adam or any YouTuber that is successful on YouTube and they reach back and they mentor younger YouTubers, I think that that's awesome. You know, when you look at Adam, he, he he's always reaching back. He's mentoring all Canadian reptile girl. He used to, I think he used to help out. I think it was like Dr. Herp or Professor Herp a little bit. He's always with Liza Lizards. And I think that he's genuinely hanging out with these YouTubers and giving them tips and tricks and just helping them grow their YouTube. I think that that is just awesome. And not just that, when you look at his content, he has master content that not everybody can do. You know, I, I love it because when I got into YouTube, I wanted to shoot a lot of controversial videos. And, you know, Adam is one that, he can shoot content and not be controversial and still blow up. You know, he has created a niche of his own. The top five videos are, you know, what animal can fit in a 20 gallon enclosure. You know, he's doing these videos and not really traveling. He does a little bit of traveling, but he's not Dave Kaufman or, you know, he's not somebody that's like Jay Brewer traveling to Asia. He's literally creating content in his home. And blowing up while he's doing it. So shout out to Adam Wickens. I think that he's an amazing, an amazing content creator. I think he's over 300,000 right now. And I say give him another year or two and he'll be in the millions. Because he he's creating content that people gravitate to. And not just that. They're going to gravitate to him because he's just a good person. Like I said, he makes great content. And I just love the fact that he mentors younger YouTubers. So shout out to Adam. Brian Barczyk, I think that this was the Steve Irwin of our time, you know, the king of the reptile hobby. There'll never be another Brian Barczyk. You know, when you look at what he did and what he left behind, you look at his YouTube, 5 million subscribers, I think over a million something on Instagram. He built the reptarium. He's in the process of building the legacy. He started Animal Con and he just united a hobby. I think that, you know, I don't think we'll ever have another one like it. You know, when you look at Steve Rowe, when you look at Brian Barczyk, it's like, who's next? It's, it's hard to it's hard to even imagine it. So I love Brian Barczyk. I think that, you know, I love seeing what he did with Animal Con, just reaching back and uniting content creators and pushing the love of the reptile hobby. It's incredible. I love that he not even just pushed the love of animals. He mentored people and he didn't care how many followers you had. He didn't care how many subscribers you had. If he thought you were a good person, he would rock with you. You know, I got him on a podcast. I had 3000 subscribers. This man had like 4 million followers. I couldn't give this man anything, but he was humble enough to take time out of his busy schedule to come on my podcast. So, I can never say a bad word about Brian. I don't care how you feel, what you think. I think Brian is a legend and will forever be a legend. Shout out to Brian Barchett. Rest in peace, brother. Brian Cusco. I think that this, this is a gentleman and a scholar. I think that he is truly underrated. I think that he makes amazing content that people gravitate to and he deserves way more followers. I think he's at like 40,000. Um, I would love to see him at 100,000 soon because like I said, he makes amazing content. He doesn't necessarily have to be controversial, but he has mastered the clickbait title, which I love. <laughs> um, he's mastered it. And, and, and draws you in his videos and when you leave after watching his videos you leave with a positive message whether it's about snakes whether it's about family whether it's just about loving yourself whether it's just about religion you leave with something and I, that's what i love about brian cusco's content you don't just watch it and you don't get anything you leave with something so 
Brian Cusco, if you see this, I love you. Um, I've had you on my podcast numerous of times. Look forward to another round soon. Um, y'all make sure y'all go hit him up, subscribe to his YouTube, and uh, hit him up on Instagram and tell him Derek Reptile sent you. Again, I think he's just a down-to-earth, humble guy and just a gentleman and a scholar. So, Tyler Nolan. I think that this is one of the most incredible YouTubers of our time. He brings you into his life and shows you his way of handling his snakes, which is incredible. I wish I could see it face to face. I've never seen someone pick up a cobra and have that much confidence. I think that his way of educating his audience and bringing them in is just it's just incredible. It's educational. It's entertaining. I love what he has going on. He has an amazing reptile collection and not just reptiles. He, he's been kind of like branching out. He's doing like chicks now and all kind of crazy stuff. A lot of those people in Florida, they started with reptiles and they're kind of branching off. I mean, you look at Chandler's wildlife. He's doing the same thing. He started with reptiles and now the man has camels. <laughs> so shout out to Tyler Nolan. I think that. You know, I think he's at like six or seven hundred thousand subscribers. I definitely see him being in the million. Um, he is one of my favorite YouTubers. And again, he's one that I've had on my podcast. Um, just just a down to earth guy. Didn't care how many followers I had and gave me a chance to interview him. So Tyler Nolan, shout out to you, man. I think that you are killing it on YouTube for a reason, man. Because like I said, just a, a dope, a dope guy, a genuine personality and an amazing collection that people just want to see. They just want to see it. Um, I remember when I got my first venomous snake, I ended up getting a copperhead and it made me feel like Chandler's wildlife and Tyler's Nolan. I felt like I was one of the venom boys. <laughs> so Tyler Nolan, if you see this man, mad love, shout out to Tyler Nolan. I make sure y'all go follow him. A lot of people probably don't think I was going to touch on the next one, but Kevin from New England Reptiles. I think that he is a giant. You know, I had the chance to have him on my podcast. I still think that he is a giant in this hobby. You can't take anything away from him. He's done so much. He discovered genes like the spider gene when it comes to ball pythons. He's written books, I believe. Um, he has an amazing collection. Do, do we uh, do we always agree on everything? No, not necessarily. I will touch on the topic of I think that Kevin does get distracted from time to time, but I think his heart is in the right place. I think that he is a weapon, and I think that once he learns how to use his platform to unite the reptile hobby, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. You know, we're going to be able to battle PETA. We're going to be able to battle the FWC. I think that, like I said, he's just a, he's a giant in the hobby. You know, he, he does stuff with his snakes that a lot of us couldn't do. He teaches us a lot of stuff, a lot of educational content. And there's a reason he's all, he's almost at a million subscribers. So shout out to Kevin, shout out to Donnie, whether we disagree on things or not. I think that y'all are dope assets to the hobby and, I can't wait to see you guys use your platform to unite the hobby. Jay Brewer. Definitely one of the kings of the hobby. I mean, when you look at his subscribers, his following count, he's built a massive following. Now, when you look at his videos, should you do some of the things he does? Probably not. But do you watch his videos? Yes, you do. I'm not going to lie. I watch his videos. I've seen him get bit in the head by something. Damn. It's entertainment. You know, it is what it is. He makes YouTube videos and he makes money. He's doing his thing. He breathes, he breathes his animals. He's hanging out with stars. He's making his money and he's on freaking TV. You know, with Jay, it is kind of, you get what you get. Super great guy. Super down to earth. I've never been to his place. I would love to go. Um, I've never been to a lot of these places. I've, I would love to go to the Reptarium. I would love to go to Jay's place. I would love to go to Brian Cusco's place, Clint Reptile's place, Snake Discovery. I would love to visit a lot of these places. So, and I could do a vlog there. But like I said, you know, I would never disparage anybody. Um, he's a very, very controversial person in the hobby. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, with Jay, you get what you get. 
Jay Brewer. You either like them or you don't.